Hey guys, welcome back. Before we get started, I just wanna remind you to subscribe to the channel. We've been growing insanely fast and our Discord server already has over 300 members. Thank you so much for the support. I'll keep doing my best to help you out. Today I wanna to make a longer video than usual because there is still a lot of confusion about emulators and proper configurations. Many people keep experiencing crashes on Pokemon Legends ZA, while others play perfectly fine. And that's extremely frustrating for anyone who doesn't know much about this stuff and has to waste hours searching for solutions online. So here it is, a complete guide where I'll show you the best settings for Eden Emulator. All right, let's jump straight into it. First of all, make sure to download Eden from my Discord. You'll find the link in the description or in my YouTube bio. Inside the Discord, you'll also find all the files needed to make the emulator run perfectly. And of course, if you need help, the community and I will be there for you. Once you've downloaded Eden, extract the folder anywhere you like. Before you open the emulator for the first time, there's one very important step you need to create a new folder inside the Eden directory and name it user, all lowercase. This will make sure Eden stores all its files in one place, keeping everything clean and organized. After you've done that, open the emulator once and then close it. Now open the folder you just created, user, then go into keys and drag in your prod.keys and title.keys version 20.5.0. Once that's done, open Eden again. Click on tools in the top menu, then firmware and choose install firmware from zip. Select the same firmware version, 20.5.0 and wait for it to install completely. When that's done, go back to the main screen. You'll see a big green plus sign. Double click on it and then add the folder where your game is stored. To keep everything tidy, I suggest creating a dedicated folder called Switch Games or any name you prefer. If you want to install updates or DLCs, click on Files in the top bar, then Install Files to NAND and select the update, in this case Pokemon Legends ZA Update 1.0.1. Now, before we tweak the settings, here's a quick but very important warning. The 1.0.1 update is still unstable. It can cause random crashes during gameplay. If you notice frequent crashes, I strongly recommend disabling it unless you really want Mega Greninja. Otherwise, it's much smoother to play on the base version for now. All right, let's move on to the settings, which will make all the difference. Right click on your game and select configure game. From here, copy exactly what I'm about to show you. These are the best possible settings for Eden right now. In the System tab, make sure everything matches what you see in this video. Set 8GB DRAM under Memory Layout. For the CPU, copy the exact same settings I'm showing on screen. For smoother performance, go to Graphics and keep Vulkan as your backend. It gives the best FPS and stability. If you still experience flickering or stutters, you can try switching to OpenGL, but keep in mind it might lower performance on weaker PCs. Don't push your resolution scale too high. Stick to native 1080p for the best balance between visuals and stability. If you want a cleaner image, change the scaling filter to FSR and set it around 50%. It'll make the image sharper without affecting performance. Now open Advanced Graphics. Set the GPU level to Normal. ASTC Recompression Method to BC3 Medium Quality and make sure the box Use Asynchronous Shader Building is checked. Finally, go to GPU Extension and change Extended Dynamic State from 3 to 0. This will fix the annoying graphical glitches at the start of the game, the one that makes the screen look broken or invisible. 
And that's it guys, your Eden setup is now fully optimized to run Pokemon Legends Z to A as smoothly as possible. Remember, the update 1.01 and some mods or cheats can still cause crashes. So if your game suddenly stops working, try disabling them first. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and drop a comment to let me know if everything worked for you. And of course, make sure to join the Discord. It's full of people ready to help, share tips, and keep everything up to date. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next guide.